Hey roommates, it's Deborah O. You're stepping into the shade room today. We have Love and Hip Hop Hollywood's Milan Christopher. How you guys doing? How you doing today? Pretty good, good. good. How you okay. Doing? Good, good, good. So how was life like after Love and Hip Hop? I know you like had a life before Love and Hip Hop. How is it now? Um, life is life is good. Um, I like the fact that, you know, by being on a platform that I feel like I'm able to help uh, LGBT teens and people who ha are going through the same type of things that, you know, uh, I was going through as a young African American gay guy. Um, so, and it's cool to be able to walk down the street and just random people just walk up to you and want to mm. take pictures. So mm. I love that. So okay. Yeah. So a lot of people said that you got you had more pop publicity or popularity from the other cast members because of your sexuality. Do you think that's true? Um, I think that plays a major part in it because mm. um, you know, love and hip hop, or just in reality TV in general. Um, this type of uh, story has never been told. Mm -hmm. um, I think the closest black gay guy that we've had on television like this in reality TV was Karamo Brown mm -hmm. on MTV Road Rules mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that, and that was years ago. So, but we they just kind of just had him. You know, this time they have me. They had me and my love interest and a whole type of triangle going on. So I think it it, it do, does definitely. Um, speak volumes mm -hmm. to the masses so i yeah I, I can agree with that yeah. yeah so you know the world got to see miles come out how was your coming out story like how did it did it play out like his or how did that go um the first person i ever told about my sexuality was my little brother um i, I was about 13 he was about nine mm -hmm. and um he asked me why i didn't like to play the games and the stuff that he mm -hmm. was playing and i basically just told him that i was gay and he was like, oh, okay, well, you're still my brother, so you still need to play these games with me. Mm. Um, and four years later, he passed away. Okay. And um, ever since then, um, I kind of vowed, vowed to myself that I'm just going to be myself no mm. matter what. Because if my little brother loved me for who I was, regardless, unconditionally, then I ex everybody should. So, yeah. So, you know, it's one of those things. So, are you the only gay um, person in your family, or...? That I know of, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any out gay cousins, brothers, just like nobody, like mm -hmm. as far as I know of. So. So what about the rumors? I know a lot of times people were talking about other cast members not wanting to work with you because of your sexuality. Mm -hmm. Was that a rumor? Or was that true? Well, that definitely was a, a rumor. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That was definitely a rumor. Um, I think the, the story was that I said that the cast members didn't want to work, with, work mm. with me because I was gay. And then they said they didn't want to work with me because they were, I wasn't a hardcore rapper mm -hmm. or some foolishness like, like that. And that was completely felonious. Um, uh, me and Ray J are hanging out now. We're yeah. doing this music together. Um, Fizz is cool. I talk to Fizz like every other day. Um, Omarion, I have worked with Omarion, but I've never really like met him. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, I think, out of everybody on the cast, when I seen him on television, um, that was the first time I even had heard mm -hmm. that. And even him, he didn't even know that I was on the show. So that whole story was just a complete fallacy. It was just <laughs> complete wrong. Completely wrong. Oh, we're going to get into that. So, <laughs> so, based, so how is your music now, like after you started you know, promoting your music on the show, like the song You Need to Stop when you know, Amber kind of bombarded you? It's called Fuck As You Thinking. Oh. Okay. And everybody is so funny because mm -hmm. I've gotten so many people come on my page talking about like, where do I get, you need to stop. I'm like, that's not the name of it. That's why you can't find it because <laughs> everybody's trying to find it. But it's called Fuck Is You Thinking. And it's on iTunes. Mm -hmm. It's on uh, every everywhere music is sold. It's on there. But it's that song has really, I've just looked at my TuneCore mm -hmm. account and it it went viral. It went good. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so I know a lot of people have been a lot of support, really supportive of you on the show. One being Hazel Lee. How is your relationship with her? I know, like on social media, you kind of got into it with her a little bit. You know, Hazel E is a funny character. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because, um, you know, you re I, I think personally, you really don't know how to gauge certain people, mm -hmm. especially when fame or money or relevancy is involved. Mm -hmm. And I think um, for certain people who utilizes this platform for all of those things mm -hmm. they tend to kind of move their their movements are based off of 
who's popping and who's not, or mm. who may be in the light and who may but not. But y'all be. look like our besties and stuff. My bestie's name is Lola Monroe. Oh, okay. Um, Hazel's a good friend. Mm-hmm. I've said that I've known her for a very long mm-hmm. time. She's one of my. She's actually was one of my closest friends mm-hmm. um, because I've known her the longest since mm-hmm. I've been in LA. Um, but right now we are having differences because she's hanging out with my ex and posting it on social media and making it very um, obvious that she's doing it and despite what me and him are going through. And I think when it comes to friends, I think loyalty plays a big part in um, your relationship. You know what I mean? Because if I know for a fact that someone is hurting my friend, I definitely wouldn't engage in them in any type of way that's Mm -hmm. friendly or friendly in public to make it look like I'm siding, you know? Yeah. So you talked about your relationship with Miles. So, you know, we kind of got to get into that a little bit. Okay. (laughs) So how are you? What is your relationship right now? Are you guys speaking? Are you guys not speaking at all? Me and Miles are not together. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and it's it's crazy because I've never did anything to Miles. Like Mm -hmm. I've always been there for Miles, supportive in, I mean, any way imaginable. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, finding out that he was cheating on me and lying about so much stuff, it caused me to break up with him. It, it drove him crazy. Um, so, um, cause you talked about New York. So the whole thing about him getting arrested, like how did that come about? Can you talk about that? Um, I can talk about it um, to the extent that he definitely got arrested. Mm-hmm. Um, he definitely um, assaulted me. So he got arrested for domestic assault. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's one of those things where even when he did it, I was so shocked that he did it and brought mm-hmm. friends with him. Mm-hmm. Um, was it was it in public? It was in public. Wow. Um, and, you know, it was one of those things where it's crazy because I couldn't even put myself in a position where I even could engage into any altercation with him or try to fight him back because this is somebody who I love, you know what yeah. I mean? Despite if we're on different terms, I could never see myself physically harming him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, all of the things that he's done and been lying about and doing to me personally, mm-hmm. it was crazy that he would even go to that extent to go and even try to physically harm me. What was, what was the fight about, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, it's not too much. I can't really talk too much about it because yeah. of uh, the case. But, yeah, he, he ended up getting arrested for um, domestic assault. But Miles is going around saying that this never happened. Like, he never got arrested or any of that. So. Yeah, that's interesting because I actually have my security guard here and he has my receipts. Oh, um, your receipts. Okay. From New York State Police Department. And oh, from the go. state. Yeah. Oh, these are legitimate. <laughs> these are receipts. So Miles these are just, definitely receipts. Miles lies about everything, so... I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is juicy. But um, definitely says his name on here. Definitely says who can I say all of this? I don't think so. Yeah, Um, but but this is. Yeah. Mm. So. And then you have the police report mm -hmm. behind it. Oh, and these are the police reports. Mm -hmm. Um. So Miles needs to stop lying, basically, because he got arrested. Yeah, Miles lies about everything. Miles has lied about who he is, who, what he represents, um, his lifestyle what his life consisted of. Mm. Um, He's lied about so much. Um, And it's crazy because, you know, I think it's a disservice to the LGBT community and to the show and to just people in the community and every at large that this person is just a complete fraud. Like, it's like- Was it his first time hitting you, if you don't mind me asking? This was definitely his first time hitting me. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, me being a man, I actually would have dog walked his ass oh you would have um but because you know i just couldn't find it in my body and my soul to actually fight or physically harm someone who i was in love with um no matter what we're going through um i was able to let him do that and be the bigger person and just call the police you Mm -hmm. know what i mean um but it was definitely his first time putting his hands on me so what actions have you done after the fact? Like, have you done anything after he was arrested to, um... Well, you know, this happened in New York, and because I feel like Miles is so maniacal, mm-hmm. um, and I don't know what he's capable of, because he he presents himself as this sweet, caring person, and just... And it's so weird just knowing that this is not him. I was scared, like, okay, when I get back home, 
I'm going to make sure I get like a restraining order mm -hmm. to make sure that I don't have to deal with him because his friends started calling me, threatening me, you know, um, it was just like, okay, what am I going to do? Because this person is crazy. I really thought I knew him. I don't know what he's capable of. Mm -hmm. um, so I need to, pre I need to protect myself. So I ended up getting a restraining order. And oh, so last year, too, you got a restraining order on him. I got a restraining order and I have those receipts too, as well. Um, and here's the restraining order. Oh, so you came with everything. Yeah, because I don't, you know, Miles has been going on interviews with his sister, mm -hmm. um, saying things about me that are absolutely false. Mm -hmm. um, and th what happens is, is that people who follow me and may follow him think that I am like the angry boyfriend. Who yeah, because this is legitimate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who is speaking outwards and just because I'm so emotional or heartbroken, mm -hmm. I dumped Miles. Like, I broke up with Miles. I have oh. no need to be heartbroken or distraught. I think my whole emotion is is that I feel like that I have been lied to um, for so long. And a person who is unjustly um, living a lie and presenting this lie to the world is perpetuating something that is absolutely false. Mm -hmm. And people need to know that because when I was a kid, it was so hard for me to find an openly African-American black guy who was gay, you know? Um, and we this story and our position represents so much and it's so much bigger than just us mm -hmm. because it was times when I wanted to kill myself because my church, the church turned against me, my family, my school, my community, and by him being a part of that and representing something that's so monumental to so many different people and he him representing that in a non-factual way it's not cool and it's a complete disservice to a person who is real who was really searching for an authentic person so you're saying that basically miles did not come out on the show like the whole thing was a fake like he was i don't want to talk about the show mm -hmm. but i'll talk about miles mm -hmm. because i don't want to go into mm -hmm. that because that's where you know i'm i my job is pretty yeah. much. Um, but what I will say is that Miles has been homosexual. He's not bisexual. Mm. Um, he has been gay for a very long time. Um, Amber um, definitely had, was well aware that he was homosexual. They're actually best friends. Um, from my understanding, they've never been in a relationship. Um, so, you know, it's all a fallacy. If, if whatever they're portraying again, um, wherever they're portraying it at and on, I'll say that this is all what has been done prior to. Like his sister knew he was gay. Everybody knew he was gay. So, so when did you find out like well, all this stuff was? Um, it's once the show, speaking of the show, once the show had presented to the world the new cast members and they presented me and Miles to the show, I had started getting like several emails and mm. Uh, people texting me and just hundreds of hundreds of people and a lot of the stuff was fake like I would get a lot of people saying oh I fucked this person or I slept with your man or y whatever and oh, I hate those text messages right but you have to sift through the things mm -hmm. that were fake because people are looking for attention on mm -hmm. social media because the first time you respond to it they blow up you know what mm -hmm. I mean um, and you have to figure out what's real but it got to the point where it was so overwhelmingly I was getting so many responses about him not being on the low and being DL and him being gay um, that I had to start looking into it. And one of the biggest advocates of it was Monice Slaughter, who is a girl that's actually on the show, Monice. Shout out to Monice. Hey, Monice. Um, and I actually was having a problem with Monice because I thought she was lying to me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bitch, you are lying. Why are you you just doing this because you're just being messy and da 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 da. We all got that one friend and that we can never tell them nothing about, you know, about the man. relationship. Yeah, yeah and true. I think I've I was that there. person. Yeah, I've been there too. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. um, when I finally took the time out to look into it, I was like, wow. You know, yeah. I found out so much information. I mean, I literally was talking to people he had slept with at the same time, huh? Yeah, because the rumor was that he slept with like four different dudes or something. I, I talked to all, I talked to four different dudes. This and you ain't go off on them? At first I did. Okay. I mean, my initial text to two of them um, was stop lying, stop being fucking messy. And 
I don't know if I can say that word F, but stop being messy and just, you know, leave us alone. I cursed Monice out. You know, I just really was going on my tangents because I, I lead with my heart mm -hmm. and I believe you. I take you for face value all the time. And that's that's kind of like my downfall. You know what I mean? And um, they were telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And so I finally ended up talking to them and hearing them out and listening to them call him on three way and hearing him say all type of sexual innuendos mm -hmm. or about when they messed around and what they were going to do when they, when he sees them next and just mm -hmm. all of those things and um i actually recorded the two of their conversations um mm -hmm. and i have those as well mm -hmm. um so that's what that's what it took for me to just say okay i'm calling this quits I don't, it didn't have really anything else really to do with mm -hmm. that he was lying about every fucking thing about himself. But the fact that you also was lying and you cheated, it was just like, okay, this was the nail in your coffin. How did you find out about them? They reached out to me. Oh, really? Okay. They reached out to me. Um, Monice connected me to one of them, which was her cousin. Mm -hmm. um, and the other three reached out to me and just let me know everything mm -hmm. i mean you have to imagine being on television and seeing someone just completely lying like mm -hmm. milan is the first guy i've ever been in love with and messed around with mm -hmm. and he's probably gonna be my last like so that just slays all of your past mm -hmm. anybody who thought you had something special with them you just kind of like just crush them mm -hmm. and so they're like okay hell no you know what i mean so they started reaching out mm -hmm. and like i said some of the people who were reaching out probably could have had valid cases but because i am so quick to just put it on you know my tongue my verbal tongue lashings you know what i mean because you basically are threatening everything that i know that's real mm -hmm. in my mind and i probably could have found out way more than that but mm -hmm. um one was really all i needed but th number two three four and number two three and four was just like okay this is just too much this is dos muchos you know what i mean mm -hmm. this is too much so is there anything you can do like he can do to get back with you like would you no. ever i mean actually the cheating would have been one thing right uh -huh. if it was one person probably we could have worked past it mm -hmm. two three and four no and then once he elevated this the situation to put his hands on me that was like completely like we're done and then finding out that he's a complete liar like this is a person who created a lie stepped into the lie mm -hmm. and now is living the lie and acting and moving in the lie as if he's it's real and that to me strikes me as this craziest thing because that's scary mm -hmm. you know what I mean so just watching him talk and see his interviews he scares me because he's lying like so, compulsively but I have to ask though because you know some us women we kind of stay around sometimes if it, if the sex is good was the sex good <laughs> what, you know we gotta I'm not know. even gonna go there no, no and the sex is not I've oh. had better sex I mean I, I was in love with I was uh -huh. in love with him. You so you just I mean? kind of had that passion for it. I think but... what happened was, too, is that I did get a lot of signs. But mm -hmm. because the show was omnipresent, um, I think that's what kept us together as mm -hmm. well. Because now we're working together. We're on a show. You know what I mean? So now I can't really... Uh, watch everything you're doing because you could be doing something with a stylist you could be talking to this person or whatever the case may be and plus we're on a show and i knew how monumental this was and i didn't know if i think i was blinded by not wanting to destroy that mm -hmm. you know what i mean so what about your tattoos did you guys get a cover you gonna get no, a cover it's, it's still here uh -huh. um I'm, it's, it's still cute yeah i'm definitely i'm definitely gonna <laughs> um get it covered mm -hmm. um i don't know with what yet mm -hmm. um and sometimes i think like I need to have certain things around me to remind me of how close I let somebody come to me. I literally wanted to be married by now. I don't know if you guys watched the show, but that was one of my things. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm getting older. Mm -hmm. I want to be married. I really want to have children. Yeah, like you know what I mean? These are these are my dreams. Like, I've dreamed of th this day, and I thought it was going to be with this person. And um, the tattoo, the pictures are constant reminders of you can't trust. I mean, you can trust people, but the closest you can't even trust a person you're sleeping with so do you think that um with miles now going around saying like because he hasn't really said too much you know what oh, I'm no, saying? He, so, oh, so. he does subliminal things mm -hmm. he says stuff like once they once the hate doesn't work they start telling lies okay and yeah he just, I, we saw that okay mm -hmm. and then he'll say stuff like um uh 
something something the tr- tr- love wins or uh, mm-hmm. be some whatever. We he- did also. He did an interview recently, you know, with his sister. And um, his sister came out yeah. with all type of allegations, mm-hmm. which I've actually am already filed a cease and desist. Okay. Because I don't play those games. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're not going to, in the in in the quest of living your lie. Mm-hmm. try to discredit me because you want to perpetuate the situation and he knew in the space that we were that if i started telling his truth i would his whole lie would crumble so i think his whole um him and his sister's whole thing was to kind of destroy that but listen, so was anything that she said true nothing, nothing? I, nothing. okay um i like i he brought a sex tape. Yeah. Um, this sex tape thing has been lingering for probably about like six years. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never even took the time out to even watch the sex tape. Mm-hmm. I've, I've had sex before. Yeah. So if someone that I've had sex before with recorded me having sex and put it out, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I'm not like going to deny that it ever happened. That it ever happened. But mm-hmm. I'm not even going to waste my time on that because that's so old. Mm-hmm. Um, and anything else that she says, I'm not going to because I'm not going to perpetuate her lies. Mm-hmm. Um, or bring it to this platform. Um, so, you know, it's just certain shit, certain things you just cannot do. Um, and those are two things you're not going to do because I have a brand. I've been doing this for eight years. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, I work. I work fucking hard. I own Beverly Hills White Smile. I, I, I just do my own thing. I make my own money. I, I'm in a studio every day. You Speaking know I mean? of money, because, you know, on one of the episodes, they talked about <laughs> you spending money on Amber's rent. Mm. So how how did you, like, how did that go about? Like, how did that conversation really go? Um, Amber has a daughter. <laughs> and Miles is like the god father mm. or, or whatever. Um, Because Amber's really his best friend, Mm -hmm. you know, that's they're not they're not exes Mm. And so this child is like his goddaughter and apparently Amber was in a bind and you know He didn't want the goddaughter to whatever could I help out and of course You know, I'm not gonna see anybody with a woman with children on the street and I mean Amber don't even have a relationship I've probably seen Amber out maybe like once or twice and maybe talked to her over the phone like four or five times in the course of us even filming love and hip-hop so you know, I wouldn't do that. So I did help. So how did you get your money, like, before the show? I've, I've had, like, first of all, to be 100, keep it 100, I've worked, like, I got my first uh, Chase Bank commercial, mm-hmm. which was an international commercial. I don't know if you guys know how that works, but the residuals from an international commercial is not a game. Mm, so you getting paid. And I was getting paid. Okay. Um, I started my own business called Beverly Hills White Smile, which is a teeth whitening business. Mm-hmm. Um, we sell the little teeth whitening things. I don't know if you guys see the celebrities going around posting that? our thing. Mm-hmm. That's us. Um, Carucci. Just, I mean, I can go on and on just of our clientele. Um that mm-hmm. and also I've had before like I'm an attractive guy I've had guys who've caked on me you know what I mean so keeping it real you know keeping it 100 um and then I've also have been in situations with my family where I was awarded money mm. lots of money have any of the guys if you can spill some tea has any of them guys been celebrities that we know that's not what I'm gonna do okay. <laughs> I mean, we have to ask <laughs> So, yeah. you know, but so like, are you getting paid? You know, like Mimi did her thing and like she's getting paid, like, you know, from what she says for a lifetime. So you, you're going to be paid for your lifetime. You feel like no, it's nothing like that. Mm-hmm. No, it was nothing like that. It was just when I was dealing with them, they would make sure that I was OK. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it's nothing like, OK, I'm a so I'm this big celebrity. I got to keep you quiet mm-hmm. type of thing. Nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I make my own money at this point. I don't need nobody to yeah. do anything. I but drive you- a Bentley. I live in a penthouse. I don't need. Speaking of Bentley, yeah. cars and stuff. Did you take your car back? That's his car. Oh, it's that's in, his car? It's, it's in his name. Okay. It's his car. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, well, that was cute. That's nice of him. Yeah. So, um, basically, now that we're kind of moving away from the relationship, you know, mm-hmm. um, talk about the reunion. Like, how was that seeing anybody all together, you know, after the show had aired? Mm-hmm. Were there unsatisfied beefs? Or, like, did you re- I had handle? absolutely... Mm. I don't know if I can really talk about the reunion and what happened. So I think you guys should watch, watch the, the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but only, only situation that I really came to the reunion to deal with was with, with, with your relationship. Miles mm-hmm. and my relationship. So how is your relationship now? Are you like, I know you and Amber kind of been going back and forth too. And I don't, I haven't went back and forth with Amber at all. Cause she's been saying some things too. Yeah. She can, so she can, you know, at this point, 
her, Miles, his sister, everybody, can all of that whole little lion clan, mm -hmm. that little clan that's telling lies, can say whatever they want because mm -hmm. the one thing about the universe and about God and about karma, it'll all everything comes to the light. Mm -hmm. And so, and that's where I've, I've, that's the space I'm in right now. I'm not even about to entertain them anymore. Yeah. It's like good day. Yeah. I mean, I think Eric. Erica Mina. Oh yeah, she came. I seen it. Has mm -hmm. finally came out, and her little brother saying, you know, she's known Miles and Amber for years, and he's been gay, and just I was. Telling so the he truth. was really trying to like talk to her brother, like was like what? Yeah, because she he was, got he got the text message. You guys posted. No, yeah, everything. we did post it. We yeah, didn't know so, if you know any more tea. I mean, that's that. really the, the extent of me caring was mm -hmm. just what I saw, and the reason why I saw that is because all of you guys as fans were tagging me on it, like, oh, Milan, you were telling the truth. I'm like, yeah, what would be the reason for me not to be telling the truth? Like, I don't, Miles can't do anything for me. Like, he don't have a car. He, like, it's just certain things. He don't have any money. Like, mm. why would I even be mad or upset when I'm I'm the one who were, who was doing everything for the relationship? And I'm the one who brought him on this platform. He, Miles didn't bring me on Love & Hip Hop. I brought him on Love & Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So, I mean, I just didn't get it. So, it was yeah. like, whatever so what is your type now that you single you know you got a type out here like, <laughs> you, you know you know right now i just want somebody who is equally yoked and mm -hmm. i mean mentally physically creatively um and kind of want the same things that i want i no longer want to be bothered with um anyone who is indecisive about what they want out of life where they are in life i think you know miles is not a spring chicken he's 28 about to be 29 mm -hmm. and um so you know, that's a problem when you don't have a job and you don't have anything but love and hip hop. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I just want somebody who wants the same things out of life as me. And that's about it. Is there anybody in your life now, like any interest at all? Or are you just straight single? I'm single with options. Okay. I mean, even at even at the place where we got into our altercation mm -hmm. with, um, once this is over and I can talk about it, you guys, I was actually with somebody who I was interested in. Okay. So... Somebody that we know. Somebody that you know. Oh, so yeah. what you say? Okay, so is this going to come out? You say we, we going to... Well, I, it's certain de mm -hmm. details of how it happened, when it happened, what took place, who he was with, you know, mm -hmm. the whole thing that I guess I can't speak of yeah. because of the case is open mm -hmm. um, to, on public platforms. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually, you know, the shade room will definitely get the full tea. Mm -hmm. I might even write a book or something, you know what I mean? Oh. So, but... All of my energy and time right now is going into my music. Like mm -hmm. next week on Tuesday, on November 10th, I release my song, When I Go. Okay. Um, and it's going to be dope. It's featuring uh, Papa Chulo. It's a really, it's like about, it's a breakup song. Mm -hmm. And it's about my situation. So it's going to be about Miles. It's about oh, okay. breaking up. Breaking up. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, so we're going to be jamming. I'll exactly. be jamming just with you. And I got my underwear line mm -hmm. and I got my career. I just got other things going so, to be focused mm -hmm. on. Yeah. So, how was your relationship with other like gay cast members, like Jason Lee, on the show and stuff like that? Like, how were your relationship with them, with him? Um, Jason Lee, you know, I tried my my earnest tr to you know befriend him, um, but it's just something about our energies that I don't that's think just matches. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I'm 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 a builder. I'm I'm not a destroyer. I'd never come to destroy anybody mm -hmm. or tear anybody down unless they are trying to tear me down. And a reflex of mine is yeah, to defend myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, I don't I'm not in the business of negativity and a person who is constantly surrounding themselves with that energy. I'm Buddhist, like I'm not into that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think whether he's intentionally being involved in negativity or if he's unintentionally being involved, it's always negative energy around him and I just can't. I just can't. So is there anything that you want to tell anybody that you haven't really feel like you could have said or can say now that you haven't been able to say to your fans? Or No, I just want you guys to make sure you follow me on Instagram at Milan Christopher. All right. Well, thank you so much thank for you coming for having in me. with us today. Oh, my God. Being a good sport oh with us today and scaring up all the tea. We're going to look at them receipts, too, later on. Yeah, because yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much again for coming in. No problem. All right. Thank you guys for stepping in with the shade room. Wanna take